Uh, well, enough questions for now. We need to decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. It seems we have little choice in the matter. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will... Distract whatever evil is inside, and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? And what exactly am I supposed to do once I'm in there? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. I understand, and I'll do my best. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Alright. Well, hopefully Tegan creates some kind of distraction. We're going to infiltrate the castle through the mill's secret passage. Ah, so here is the secret passage. We will use the ring to open. This should be easy enough. And it has led down to the Redcliffe Castle basement. So, uh, that tunnel must have led uh, under the lake itself. Which is pretty cool. Oh, more undead. Right. Hello? Is there someone out there? Who is it? By all that's holy you! I can't believe it! Chowan? Maker's breath, how did you get here? I never thought I'd see you again of all people. Chowan, what have they done to you? What they do to all traitors and would-be assassins. I wouldn't be surprised if they sent you to finish me off. Uh, at this point, I'm, I'm beginning to wonder if you would deserve it. I understand why you're angry. They told you I poisoned our Lehman, didn't they? For all I know, he's already dead. He's not dead, at least not yet, from what we've heard. He's not? That's a relief. I can't tell you how much. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was a, a terrible thing, but I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear! Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. The Chantry sent her away, but I don't know where. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? So, look me in the eyes and tell me, are you responsible for what's happened here? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. 
She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Why did you poison Arl Eamon, Jowen? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Why did you listen to Terran Loghain, of all people? Why wouldn't I? I was desperate, and this is Terran Loghain we're talking about for Andraste's sake. Why wouldn't I believe him? Uh, this doesn't explain everything that's happened. Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the Circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. How much magic did you end up teaching Connor? Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Alright. I think I understand. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. Ah, uh, yes you are. But, you are still my friend. What do you intend to do about this? I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. I've already helped you once in the name of friendship. And I betrayed you. And Lily. I'm sorry. So sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Won't you help me try and do one thing right in my life? He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance. Please. So, how will you make things right? I... well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that, what happens? Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed. Or whatever people like me get. A part of me knew right from the beginning that I'd have to face the consequences one day. I knew I'd be caught, eventually. Everything I've done has just delayed the inevitable. I'm done with running and hiding. I need to account for what I've done. Well, it is commendable, if you're speaking true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? All right, Jowen. I'm letting you out of your cell. But don't try anything else, please. You're letting me out? And what then? Why don't you come with me so I can keep an eye on you? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. Then help. Don't just make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. <laughs>